Al, can you say uh, chicken and banana? <clears throat> chicken and banana. He says it like 10 times in the episode. <laughs> Get fished. Get fished. Chicken and banana? Like he 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 says it, it sometimes he's like despondent. Chicken ghastly chicken and banana. And sometimes he's incensed. Chicken and banana Like prawns in a chocolate sauce. Prawns in a chocolate sauce Like It's just, I don't know, it's just a beautiful phrase. Like, I, I could fall asleep to just, like, a 10-hour video of Gordon Ramsay saying chicken and banana. Chicken and panada? Now, I mean, that sounds good, don't get me wrong. I gotta tell you, I... One of, one of the meals that, you know, came this week uh, was a... It had no label on it. Sometimes they come with no labels. This is how you know I'm not that picky of an eater. That was the first meal I chose to eat because I was like, I love a surprise. It was a, a spinach tortilla wrapped in, you know, wrapping something. Bit into it. And I was like, this tastes very strange. I did some reverse engineering. It was a... Uh, and I'm, look, let's just... Let me finish the bit here, okay? It was a vegan breakfast wrap, and again, it was one of those that has the, uh, the slogan that's like, It's meatless, but you wouldn't know it, and, uh, that's incorrect. It had, uh, like a, it had boiled potatoes, uh, texture, te like TVP, uh, ground beef, like textured vegetable protein, um, beef, which is just like, I don't know, it's just like, kind of like edible sand. And, uh, I don't even remember what else. But I was like, I, it's just, it's so miserable, man. We could, you couldn't just, just give me like a, like a bean burrito or something like, or like there's, one of the things that comes all the time is like, it's a, it's a lentil wrap. So it's like, you know, cooked lentils and, um, you know, spices and, and herbs wrapped in like a grilled naan and it's fantastic it's one of the top meals i look forward to uh <sighs> didn't even take damage every week but like the the like hey it's kind of beef but not really i was just like i i'm i'm deriving no pleasure from it you gotta work on that man yeah I, i've I gotta remove it from the, uh, from the rotation at this point. It's not an anti-vegan thing whatsoever. There are a lot of, like, vegan meals I, I enjoy. Um, I will say, though, that for my personal taste, none of them are like, hey, we took, like, a, a meat dish and then, you know, made it out of gluten and then spray-painted some grill lines on it to trick your brain. Okay, we're back at the parapet. Water, for example. I will say, do I, so I was watching Kitchen Nightmares last night, which is very typical. Um, and there was an episode, it was one of the very early episodes in the UK. He has everybody in the kitchen make like a pizza. And one of the pizzas, or well, all the pizzas, I think, have some form of meat on them. And then they go out onto the street to get people to, like, come into the restaurant and try the pizzas. And they get one dude who's a vegetarian, and they just feed him a pizza with meat on it. And then they, like, so he samples all three of them, and they go, which one's your favorite? And he's like, oh, I like this one. And then Gordon Ramsay's like, check it out, dummy, there's ham on that! <laughs> like, in... I remember watching it for the first time, and, like like 2008 or 2009 and being like that's a little weird but also like you know i was younger i was at a different point in my life i was like you know owned <laughs> owned you owned him gordon good job now i'm like yo that's like fucked up <laughs> apologies for using the f word but i was like i was like 
Oh my god, this guy is gone. <laughs> you can't do that. It's like violating somebody's, like, like, religious rights, basically. No, it was not staged. I mean, like... I, I, I can't prove that it wasn't staged. All I'm gonna say is that the guy looked like a vegetarian. And Gordon Ramsay, he should not be acting in nonfiction if that was his reaction. Like, he's an amazing actor then. That one was chicken and banana, you muppet. It was not staged. Mm, that happened. Yeah, and then everybody clapped and... Is this a hail corporate? Oh, you were at Wendy's when this story happened? Did you get paid by Wendy's to, to slip that into the story? How you feeling about the Snyder Cut? For weeks I've been trying to workshop a way to, to get it to work with the tune of the Skyler sisters from Hamilton. Superman! Batman! <laughs> Cyborg! The Snyder movie! Something like it. It's got a long way to go, but it, what am I doing? Reg, 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 Reg doll. Mmm! Reg doll. Call me Martha one more time! Does Vancouver have a leaf blower culture? Just love that question. A, a lot of... A lot of... A lot of Canada is leaf, leaf blower culture. You're not wrong. I don't hear them too often uh, where I am, but... Don't. You know, like people who use leaf blowers. I don't know, I feel like it's just windy around here. Like, the, the leaves just blow. Okay, sure. I just, like, it's... I think it's kind of audacious that, that the Snyder Cut is four hours long. Like, Endgame is, like, three and a half hours long. And it's the culmination of, like, 12 years of, of cinematic releases building to it. And then, like, I don't know, the DC Cinematic Universe has, like, four movies. And they're, like, you know. Then again, Titanic is, like, three hours long. And you're like, whatever, man, the boat's just gonna crash. Like, get to the point. Oh my god, I'm so impatient, dude. So impatient. He died of old age! I thought the old lady threw it into the ocean at the end. You know, lady, that really sucks! Sorry, I haven't watched a movie in a long time. I have the movie channels, dude, but they freaking... They've been playing the same movies for a year because nothing came out last year, right? It's so, like every two days, they're like, do you want to watch, like, Bad Education starring Hugh Jackman? And I'm like, please, I've seen it seven times. Do you want to watch all of Euphoria? And I'm like, not nah, really. I bet Euphoria is good. It's just, you know. I'm, I'm more of like a search party guy, I think. There we go. Zendaya, though? Oh, you mean uh, Michi? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
You think it's the... I wonder that it's probably my second favorite vine. Zendaya is Michi. Is, oh, that's not even a vine, is it? It's a Twitter video. The best vine ever is added again at the Krispy Kreme. I will, I will go to bat for it. Oh, my Lanta, dude. Okay, okay, okay. We're blessed. Touched by the hand of God. One last chance here. Mike, you're gonna get in trouble is another top quality uh, vine. But, uh... Zach, stop. That's what I mean. Zach, stop. You're going to get in trouble. Come on. How can you get better than add it again at the at the Krispy Kreme? Add it again at the Krispy Kreme. Dunk, 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 ka -chook. And then the, the hard cut. It's perfect. It's a perfect slice of entertainment. Adam, watch out for the light. I don't, yeah, okay. This is bringing back some memories. Is is it those those two people making out in Starbucks where the guy's pointing and going, Is this allowed? Is this allowed? And then the girl looks at him and is like, Stop. That one is really good too. I don't know if that's... I don't know if that's a vine, but... What the... <laughs> what the fuck? Is this allowed? That's a great... That's a great video. They're sitting... So I hate the way they're sitting in that video. Oh, man. That... That bothers me. Um... Oh, jeez, dude. Come on. But wait, no. There's another one. I was just... Oh! The, the video from like a, a... It might be like a high school party. And the girl takes like a huge hit off of a vape and then breathes it into the air and the guy turns to the camera and goes, Wow. That's that's another good one. That's another good one. Save the merch. Save the merch. Okay, yeah, focus, focus. Vine's good stuff, man. Yeah, then on TikTok, you got ladies just blowing up Fanta in their own face. Fanta and Mentos! What do you think's gonna happen? Okay, here we go. Why is TikTok worse than Vine? Here's the thing. I'll go to bat a little bit for TikTok. I think it's like the... Like, TikTok is not for our generational cohort for the most part. Um, so it's one of those things where, like, I'm so impatient, dude. I'm so embarrassed here. Um, it's one of those things where people are like, I don't understand why all these, like, 14-year-old girls like Justin Bieber. And you're like, yeah, dude, you're freaking 45. Just start listening to Steely Dan and get over it. Like, why, why are you, like, you are you got, like, four kids. Why do you care what, like, a 17-year-old girl in Montana listens to? You, you weirdo? Like, it's just... This doesn't concern you, right? So, like, I think that's... I, I think TikTok, you know, security concerns aside, I think it gets a little bit of a bad rap from a group of people that really, like, it's not for to begin with. But then secondarily, there's, like, a lot of, like... TikTok is, like, inundated with, with also, like, self-help and political content from people that have, you know, they were born in, like, 2006. Which doesn't make them authoritative sources. Survive. He lived! <laughs> oh my god. I thought it would be funny if I was casual about getting stuck on that, that saw blade. Just regression before progression.
What do you think of Gen Z versus Millennials? They're currently having a battle on TikTok. Every Millennial that's a part of that battle um, needs to get a life, is my, my take on the subject. We're getting older. We should be doing better things with our time. I don't just mean more productive things. You know, I, I, I just mean things that are not just, you know, like better you know, perhaps for your life, but also like better for your, your brain and, and your mental health and, and so on and so forth. They're like, you know, good for, good for the world, you know? Who, who cares? Yeah, Gen Z, they're like teenagers, young adults. This is their time to, to S post. Don't you have, like, some laundry in the dryer you should be folding or something like that? Like, I know I do. Yeah, plus, war doesn't decide who's right, man. It just decides who's left. Okay, we, we freaking made it. Okay, here we go. Here we go, it's been a while. It's been a while, it was like half an hour. <laughs> You ever have clothes shrink on you? Oh, I've I've run the gamut. Sweater shouldn't have been put in the dryer. Um, now it, like it's unwearable. Um, it's like a sweater for ants. Uh, oh, you accidentally put like a white shirt in with blue jeans. Now guess what? You got a blue shirt. Plenty of, plenty of stuff along those lines. That's that's just life, you know. That's just laundry life, baby. No! No, I'm stupid. That's okay, because we don't mess this up. Honestly, it's not even worth using a dryer. Don't listen to this person. They are wrong, and they have been paid by uh, the company that makes clotheslines to spread misinformation. Dryers are, are an insane quality of life improvement. You get paid by Big Wet. <laughs> I live in Korea, don't have a dryer. I miss them so bad. Yeah, that's the thing. It's like, it's so annoying. Like, they in Korea, you use those, like, the, the little racks that you, like, hang dry the clothes on. You know, nine times out of ten, it's totally fine. The tenth time out of ten, you're like, oh, I guess I'm wearing damp pants to work. My save? Okay, well, it's fine. We'll just do it in one shot. Just do it in one shot. Why do you only have one pair of pants? Here comes the, the, the victim blaming. Why would you ever get anything that makes your life uh, more convenient when instead you could just own, you know, 17 pairs of pants? Oh, you're, you ordered lunch, and your your lunch has taken an hour to come out? Why, did, why didn't you just eat a bigger breakfast? Suppose, hypothetically, you had no dryer. I simply would choose to... You know why? Because I don't have the same body type as the average South Korean man. So anytime I went out to buy clothes, A, you got the language barrier, where I can't even read what the freaking label says, and then B, that you always, you know, in, in Canada, I'm like a, I'm a medium. I go to South Korea, you got to shop at, like, you know... Lard Boys XL. It's embarrassing, man. It's demeaning. You happy? There's your answer. <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on. No, no, no. Not this pass. Not this pass. Not this pass either. This pass. Okay, we've already lost our save. That's life, it happens. Beautiful, beautiful. Not this one. This one. Great work, okay. I mean, we don't even have a save here. Like, this is a... Why is Korea relevant? You don't live there anymore? Yeah, but now in Canada, I have a dryer. That's what... Were you listening to the... Look, we're moving on. 
If you got just them, the audacity to not even listen to the bit, but then ask questions, you know? It's like showing up late for your, you know, for a lecture. And then being like, oh, excuse me, professor, have you talked about the mitochondria? And you're like, yeah, for the first 20 minutes of the lecture. Okay, we have, they freaking died. We killed them. They exploded. <laughs> you mean the powerhouse of the cell? Do you see that jump? It wasn't even a jump. It was... A jump and a crouch look very similar in a vacuum. Unfortunately, he did a crouch instead of a jump. He did a crouch and a fall. Okay, dehydrate. I think I, right now we're in an awkward period. And I'm just, you, you have to work with me, you have to trust me. I've been through this before. We're in an awkward period where many people are gonna ask for a pivot. I'm telling you, sometimes the journey to becoming exalted passes through awkward moments like this where common sense would tell you to stop. But truly great moments are, are created in situations where you ignore common sense in favor of uncommon attitudes. That's what's gonna happen here. I always think back to like the NLSS Masters, a stream where we played exclusively golf games. Nobody liked the stream when it aired. Everybody thought it was bad. The analytics were terrible. In the five years since, people bug me about it every single day. There was one person in chat during the stream that was like, I'm having a good time, smile, and then for the next five years, everybody has pretended to be that one person. That's what we're, that's what we're going on right now. I stayed up for this. You know what, that's the, that's the motivation I needed here. Let's air strafe around. Let's win one, win one for the EU, man. Let's win one for the EU. They could use a dub. There you go. Great stuff. Yeah, not you, England. Not you. You wanted to go it alone, so you don't get my help anymore. What's wrong, England? I thought you was keeping it gangster. I thought that's what you wanted. Good gif on Melon's tweet. Thank you, I appreciate it. Okay, I don't appreciate that, but that's fine. Um, uh, Anthony Fantano was listening to uh, Steely Dan. Now, he was listening to Can't Buy a Thrill, which I think is not a, uh, it's not the best Steely Dan album, but I will still, you know, I'm, I'll give him credit for listening to Steely regardless. Beautiful jumps. <laughs> a little spooky. I was glancing. I got glance heavy. I gotta remind myself. Why do why do I look at chat? There's nothing in chat that I can't, you know, find inside. Both the both in positive and negative form. Then I glanced again. Send it! Queen. Use it. Good, good stuff. Double save. Double save. Watch out. You got a double save bug, potentially. That when the song hits this, you know you're good to go. There you go. That's motivation right there. At least we can work on our consistency. Yeah, please don't. No, no. Mods, no Steely Dan hate allowed in chat. Rule number one, good vibes only. Rule number two, no, no discussion of politics or religion. Rule number three, don't talk back to subs. I need to, I need to learn how to follow that one. Rule number four, Steely Dan, 
no Steely Dan hate will be tolerated here. In this house, we support Steely Dan. <clears throat> sorry, sorry. 30 to 50 feral hogs. Only died to the hogs once today, which I think is, that's encouraging for me. That's, that's better than usual. Okay, Brian Boitano, Kurt Browning, Elvis Stoiko. What's the name of the famous male Russian figure skater? You know the one I'm talking about. It kind of looks like a Russian Owen Wilson. Plushenko, Evgeny Plushenko. Thank you, thank you. I forgot about Plushenko. Nowadays, everybody want to talk? Vladimir Bofa? Excuse me? I know, I know many figure skaters. Elvis Stoiko, Kurt Browning, Brian Boitano. Everyone's in love with Yuzuru, right? Like, isn't he... He's kind of got, like, the same level of fandom as, like, uh, as K-pop stars on Twitter. Um, Plushenko. And then you've got Michelle Kwan. Tara Lipinski. Christy Yamaguchi. Kim Yuna. Tons of them. Told you. That's, that's more than the average person can name. And, oh, don't even get me started on uh, Jamie Soleil and David Peltier. Robbed of a gold medal in Salt Lake City 2002 thanks to oligarchic corruption and then granted back to them rightfully after public outcry. Dave Coulier. Classic. I, I love when he does a quadruple cut it out. The Uncle Jesse special. Who's that Canadian guy who was big in the 2010 Olympics? I think his name is Andrew something. Am I correct? Patrick Chan! That's <laughs> it! <laughs> yeah, yeah, Andrew Patrick Chan. Tanya Harding, Nancy Kerrigan. Oh my, come on, man. Sean White. No glancing. No glancing. 45 second no glancing unlocked. Doesn't matter. There was there was no glancing present there. There was no glancing present. I just I just freaking blew it, man. <laughs> yeah, I agree. The Olympics are stupid. By which I mean I like to watch them, but like I don't know why. I guess <laughs> Almost made it. I mean, like, there's some, yeah. I, I mean, I don't, you're gonna, I mean, this is the kind of thing you get into when you got five hours of straight banter, right? Potentially. Um, some Olympic sports are cool, some Olympic sports are boring. I think they should remove about half of the swimming and running events. And then, don't even get me started, in the Winter Olympics? No disrespect if you're from Norway, but you do not get to claim that you are the strongest Winter Olympics country just because 90% of the Winter Olympics are like, you know, 1,000 meter uh, cross-country skiing, 1,500 meter cross-country skiing, 2,500 meter cross-country skiing, 5,000 meter cross-country skiing, 5,000 meter cross-country skiing, uh, and then you shoot a rifle. 10,000 meter cross-country skiing, 10,000 meter cross-country skiing, and then you shoot a rifle. Mixed cross-country skiing, cross-country skiing uh, skulls, the relay cross-country ski, like it's just... It's like one person can win like 17 Olympic medals in the, in the same year. Biathlon's pretty cool. Like, I mean, if you gotta get rid of any event, like, it wouldn't be biathlon. 
be one of the one of the middle distance cross countries. Like it's like speed running, you know? I get it. You can't cut it in Super Mario 64, you know, any percent. So now you make your own category, which is like, oh, it's Luigi percent. I've got the I've got the fastest time beating Super Mario 64 while wearing a hat on my head in real life. I do six jumping jacks every time I get a star. It's the jumping jack percent run. Oh, yes, Dan's, Dan's Clubhouse 51 online segmented, uh... I, the Clubhouse run, I'm, I'm mad for Dan that the Clubhouse world record is based on how fast it was to play every game in the pack, including, like, like, they just lost. Um, I... Thank you, thank you. I glanced. I appreciate this, thank you. Yeah, they should do an unsegmented decathlon. Just like one long course that's like long jump into high jump into triple jump. Then you pick up like a javelin and throw it as quick as possible. Beautiful throw. Here we go. We progression. Speed skating's a cool sport. I like the way they skate. It looks so smooth. Well, okay, we're gonna land on the second one and try some throws, as per chat's earlier email. Fair enough. An attempt was made. That happens. Curling is a great sport. Curling is super underrated. It's also, I, I actually think like it's one of the better spectator sports in the Olympics. Because you can actually follow along, like, with what's happening. Instead of just like, oh, they're faster, you know? Like, which is fine, don't get me wrong, it's impressive or whatever, but... Okay, it's an incredible throw. I have no idea how to get to the save. But it was an amazing throw. Don't even start with me, Canadian sports takes. American sports? Oh, it's a uh, four-wheeler racing. Maybe we can go around on this side. National Drone Racing League, sponsored by the NRA. Okay, you know, look, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on now. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. Four wheel racing is good though. Lewis Hamilton is Pog. Yeah, but could he beat Travis Pastrana? No, there's a few countries that are good at curling. The US is good at like every sport. They just get mad when they're like second instead of first. So they're like, ah, I don't watch it. Too used to the, the sports hegemony. Okay, hate this. Just give me one sec here. Maybe slow, slow your roll. Oh! And then don't hit it. Don't hit this one. Save it for later. Because we can get it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because we already have a save. Oh, no. It's a bit high. Okay, okay. Oh my god, because of the way we did it, it didn't spawn the, the rods. It didn't spawn the rods. Oh god, it spawned these ones. Okay, hold on. I still don't... Okay, the skull is pointing up. That does not mean go up, I think. That means watch out. Just trying to get a bird's eye view. Dude. I'm just trying to analyze it. <laughs> okay, sure. Get ready for gaming. Gaming? 
um, you're dropping rocks on me. No. I'm stuck again. I have to reg doll. It's a bit of okay. That's a bit of a bummer. That one's a bit of a bummer. Unlucky reg. <laughs> I got cheated on that one. Absolutely true. Absolutely true. Sorry, 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 sorry. I might be able to get two saves on this one. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. Oh. You also cheated the spawns? It's not... It, like, it, it's not considered an exploit if it's the game's fault it didn't spawn. And I didn't do it on purpose. It's like, if you go to the bank and you ask for $20 from the ATM and they give you a million dollars, it's not stealing. That's called bank error in your favor. They made a chance card about it. Gaming, 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 gaming. That's considered stealing? I don't think so. I'm, I, I anal, but I don't think that's considered stealing. I think they legally have to honor it. Please? Let's go. Let's go. It doesn't matter. It's never happened to me. Oh, it's Reg. Dude, I'd love to. Now I'd like to get the exploit, if you don't mind. I hit my head on the freaking ceiling. Okay, exploit failed. Just, this honestly is just my two cents. I would say not stealing. Okay, goodbye. I'm dead. Mm -mm. It's much harder this way. It, it's, def it's much harder this way. Okay. Cheesing. Reg doll? Nope, didn't work. This is skull explode at the bottom. <laughs> Many people are asking this. Too slow. D live! Uh, you know what? This is why God gave me HP. I, this scares the crap out of me, man. Put him out of his misery. Okay. Okay. So there's safe points. There's safe points. Touch scary in there, don't get me wrong. Touch scary. That'll that'll cheese you. That'll cheese you off. No! Alright, alright. I'm gonna, <laughs> gonna come back and run I'm gonna run some ads, come back, go to the bathroom. I'll I'll be back in just a moment, but I'll leave you with this, some beautiful music. <laughs> 